Good evening. We begin tonight with harrowing new revelations on the Bedford massacre that saw five members of one family killed. Mara Harvey, her three young daughters and their grandmother were slaughtered by Anthony Harvey, who plotted his crime in a sickening journal. A warning, some details in this report are confronting. A shocking crime beyond belief. A wife, three young children and a grandmother slaughtered in a family home. Today, relatives wept in court. As more horrific details of the Bedford massacre came to light. Prosecutors revealing Anthony Harvey carefully planned the killings weeks before in a handwritten journal. The sick manifesto listing ways to unshackle himself, eliminate his family and embezzle funds. I must embrace my darkness and my animal instincts, he wrote. I am no psycho. The 25-year-old started buying knives as early as 11 days before the killings. On September 3, he took his wife Mara to the bank where she signed over control of her account. That night, he murdered her, smashing her head with a metal pole and stabbing her 12 times with a large hunting knife. He then turned on three-year-old Charlotte and two-year-old twins, Beatrix and Alex, while they were sleeping. When his mother-in-law, Beverly Quinn, came over the next morning, he bludgeoned and stabbed her to death. Harvey stayed in the house several more days, pawning their belongings and withdrawing tens of thousands of dollars from his wife's account. He positioned his three daughters and wife under a doona, surrounding them with their favourite toys, flowers and goodbye letters placed on top. He did the same for Beverly Quinn in the kitchen. Then, five days after the massacre, Harvey drove to the Pilbara, confessing to his father and then police. His gruesome crimes finally unearthed when officers entered the House of Horrors. Anthony Harvey showed no emotion as the details of his crime were read out, some of them so sickening and depraved, the judge ordered they never be repeated outside this court. Mara Harvey's sister revealed her heartbreak after the killings. Part of me didn't, didn't think it was real. Today, her victim impact statement did the talking. I have fears that when I walk into dark rooms, Anthony will be there waiting. Prosecutors are pushing to keep the mass murderer locked up for life and never released. His fate to be decided next month. Louise Rennie, Nine News.